workers as an industrial officer. The Young Workers Advisory Service, which has just recently shut down, has been funded by the state government for Fortunately, the funding has totally been cut to that service, which has led to it having to be shut down, yeah. dropped from a full-time position to a part-time position, um, and are now sitting on three days a week of work which is almost half my income being cut. What our service does is we provide free employment relations advice to uh, women and that was young people as well. We're still getting contacted by schools and community organisations to come out and we're going to We've just been telling them that unfortunately we don't have the staff and resources available. Uh, my name's Teresa Radburn and I'm 67 years of age and this is my partner Matthew um, who will be 76 in a tiny while. Um, we're long-term residents of Monte Carlo Caravan Park. We've been residing here um, for 20 years. We came here about a year after the park um, was saved from redevelopment and became a permanent residential park for people to buy their own private dwellings with secure tenure, expecting that we would live here and this would be our retirement village. It's, it's under threat um, because the Queensland Government and the Queensland Premier are wanting to sell their asset from underneath us. It is amazing the number of people that actually leave this park to move on either to go and live in a unit or they move out of Brisbane and go to another town and they end up back here because they call this home. Hi, I'm David Myler and this is my son Jaden. He suffers from a, a rare genetic disorder. Need the NDIS, the National Disability Scheme for Families because that will help a lot of us get back to work. It will help earn money for the country. A lot of us have given up our full-time jobs and we're not uh, producing for the for the economy. We need the National Disability Insurance Scheme for kids like Jake all across the state. We're urging us to anyone to get on board with the scheme and join the rest of the states and territories. A little bit of investment from Mr Newman will go a long way to helping Australia and Queensland get the National Disability Insurance Scheme up and running. Hello, my name is Jo Pees and I'm an advice and advocacy worker for CAMRA, the Caravan and Resident and Manufactured Home Residents Association. I, like many others that work in the task services, have lost their jobs. We um, were one of the first funding cuts brought down by Campbell Newman and this is a disgusting display against some of the most marginalised members of our community. Unfortunately, there will be no one to represent the people that reside in caravan parks and manufactured homes. And um, we're really concerned about these poor souls because the people that run and own these manufactured home parks treat their tenants abysmally. They walk around with sticks, they are cruel and vindictive and behave in a disgraceful manner. And there'll be no one there to represent them because camera doesn't exist anymore. These poor souls will just be left to hang out to the dry. They could be your grandmother, your auntie, your great auntie, your granddad, and there'll be no one to care for them. So good on you, Campbell. Good on you.